Have you ever felt like a failure after scrolling on social media and seeing somebody that is significantly younger than you achieve so much than you that you ever maybe did in your whole life? They have everything you have ever wanted. Success, money, respect, and power. They live in your dream house, they drive your dream car, they are collaborating with brands that you can't even afford with your fully monthly income. He was just a baby in diapers when he started correcting other people's grammar. At the age of six years old, I became named one of the youngest self-made millionaires in the US. Now I'm 15 and I have three companies. I don't wanna fit into a box, I don't wanna be a genre. You can get any inspiration from anything, to write a song, to make a shirt, to like, come up with a video. At the beginning, it was all about admiring them and taking them as an inspiration and being motivated by seeing them. You start to follow them on social media, you start to check their content and you follow them maybe in daily basis. And since they motivate you in a very good way, you start to work harder and harder so that you can be maybe like them in one day. But after a while, you start to realize that results won't show up. Maybe there's some small results, but when you compare to them, there is nothing like their success. You start to compare your achievements to theirs, and you see the significant difference between you and them. You might feel start to feel jealous, or you might start to feel like a failure, or you might even start to feel like very left behind in life. I'm sorry to tell you, but if you have this mindset right now, you're likely to fail. I'm going to explain in this video why and how to change this mindset. This video is probably going to be the most important video that I ever uploaded on this platform. So I literally beg you to watch this video until the end. The society put us a pressure to be constantly successful. We have to know what to do with our life. Even if we are significantly young, we have to know what to do and who to contact and the exact action plan and all that stuff. But when talking realistically about this circumstance, it's completely normal for you to not to know what to do next. Everybody has moments in their life that they feel lost and left behind. Maybe not even moments though, maybe decades or something. Thing. And that's completely normal. When talking about the pressure that society puts us to be constantly successful, let's start from here. What is success? How do we define success? What is the meaning of being successful? In most of the cases, being successful means that you achieving your dreams, goals, having the money, being respected from the people who are around you, and being maybe good for the society, and enjoying your life to fully potential. When we start to compare ourselves to people who are successful, we are likely to overlook two things, unfair advantages and the iceberg illusion. Let's talk about unfair advantages. I'm gonna take a lot of quotes from my all-time favorite book, Unfair Advantages, so if you haven't read the book yet, I beg you to stop this video and order that book and read it immediately because that book is gonna change your life and your mindset like it did to mine, okay? Promise. So, a little question before starting to talk about it. Do you believe that life is fair? Stop this video and please comment. I'm gonna tell you my opinion and life is unfair. Life is unfair AF and I am not the only one who thinks in this way. I'm a young, white, educated male. I got really, really lucky and life isn't fair. Those are the words of Evan Spiegel, the billionaire co-founder of Snapchat. So basically Evan Spiegel grew up in a multi-million dollar house in Los Angeles. His parents were very successful and famous lawyers who were dealing with very big and global countries and dealing with their issues. And he got the best education in this world. And his mentor was co-founder of YouTube, Scott Cook. He had the best education. His parents were also educated. They had money they were multi-millionaires he had the networking he was healthy and he had every single opportunity in his life and he used these unfair advantages and he became successful in life after hearing his background you might think that of course he's going to be successful i don't have these unfair advantages i can never ever be like him and that is not true actually there is a way for everyone to be successful 
you might still thinking that life is so unfair and it's gonna never change. Yes, that's true. Life is always gonna be unfair. We should always increase the amount of the fairness in the society. But when we think about the humans and the human condition and biases that we have, life is probably will never ever be fair. So how can we be successful in this such an unfair world? Please don't tell me that you still believe that hard work is only way to achieve success because it's not and it's time to change your mind on that success is not simply awarded to the hardest workers it is awarded to those who develop and use their unfair advantages this is a quote from the unfair advantages book by unfair advantage we do not mean an unethical or illegal advantage an unfair advantage is competitive upper hand and your set of unfair advantages that is unique to you and sometimes it's not one that is earned or worked for. So let's take a very simple example from social media, from influencers maybe. Being pretty is a significant unfair advantage that you can use. It does not necessarily mean that if you don't fit into current beauty standards, you cannot be successful as an influencer or something. But if you're pretty, if you're considered to be pretty, it's more likely for you to succeed because you have that unfair advantage. It's same like being tall as a basketball player. Of course, there are short basketball players that are very successful, but if you're tall, you have that unfair advantage in that, in that area. You know, life isn't fair, but if you use the unfairness of the life as an excuse to have a victim mindset, to stop yourself from striving to achieve your goals, to make your dreams a reality, then you're only shooting yourself in the food. If we want to be successful in our lives, we have to find our unfair advantages and we have to work the system instead. So how can we exactly do that? Actually in the unfair advantage book, they're explaining the miles framework. So these are the unfair advantages that you can use in your life. So M is money. Money is the capital you have or that you can easily raise. I is intelligence and insight. Intelligence and insight includes book smarts, social and emotional intelligence, as well as creativity. L is location and luck. But I would also add looks and because in today's world and in like some businesses, it's really important to have good looks. Location and luck is all about being in the right place at the right time. And the E is education and expertise. Education and expertise is both your formal schooling and also your self-learning, which gives you intellectual and technical know-how. S is status. Status is your social status, including your network and connections. It's your personal brand. In other words, how you're perceived. It also includes your inner status, which is your confidence and self-esteem. While listening to these, you might think like, I do not have any unfair advantage in my life. But first thing first, that is impossible because everything can be your unfair advantage. These are just like the main things that you can consider as an unfair advantage. But if you know how to create and use your unfair advantages, everything can be your unfair advantage. But the thing is, Unfair advantages are double-edged sword. If you know how to use it, it can be beneficial for you, it can be life-changing for you. But if you don't know how to use it, it can also damage your life too. If you guys want a detailed video about unfair advantages and how to find your own unfair advantage and how to use them, I can make a detailed video about it. So let me know in the comments down below. So other thing that people overlook is the iceberg lesion. All people see is the success of someone, so the tip of the iceberg but do not see all the stages of mistakes, persistence, failures, etc. So the lower half of the iceberg under the water. We do not see what people go through to achieve the success, which is the stages of a growth mindset. So let me give an example from myself. This channel grew over 300k subscribers in only 10 months. We made over 21k revenue only from YouTube AdSense and overall more than 51k in only 10 months. For an average channel, it takes 152 videos to reach 1000 to 10k subs and 1171 videos to hit 100k to 1 million. Do you know how many videos I published on this channel? Only 100 videos to hit 300k. So it's 10 times, maybe more than 100 times faster than average channel. After learning about the unfair advantages and, you know, categorizing them, you might think, oh, that's because you knew your unfair advantages and you use them. And that's the only thing that you have done, right? The answer is going to be yes and no. Yes, because before starting this channel and starting to upload frequently on this channel, I identified every single of my unfair advantage and I decided to use them. 
and I use them and we're pretty good right now. No, because that is not the only thing that I have done. It took me 100 videos that you are currently able to see on this channel. You might be confused right now, but this is not my first channel. This is actually my fifth channel and I started making videos in 2015. Merhaba. Hi, I'm Rudy. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Judy. You are currently watching the first episode of Med School Diaries. It took me seven years to reach this point. I still remember the days people telling me that I can never ever succeed as a YouTuber, make money out of it and all that stuff. People were making fun of my videos and I'm not trying to brag or you know show off my success or something. <laughs> Obviously there are people who have like 10 million subscribers or something. So if you compare myself to them, it's not about the bragging. I'm just literally explaining you the mindset so that you can use this mindset too. If I wouldn't mention that this is my fifth channel, you would still believe that we achieved the hit 300k videos in only 10 months with 100 videos. But the reality is, there is a dedication of 7 years, me not giving up on my dreams, taking multiple courses and spending more than 10k on YouTube online courses, marketing, social media courses and analyzing every single YouTuber that I watch. I remember the days that I would take a screenshot of every single video that had over 1 million views and analyze and write in my YouTube notebook I literally had a YouTube notebook where I would write what makes this video special what makes this youtuber special why people are watching these people what is the value that they give is it really entertaining or is it giving a very valuable information I would write down all of these things and I continued to do that for seven years and in my brain I literally have a Rudy's viral video library and every single time when we talk with my friends Izzy and Matt I would say oh there was like this viral video and they're like how do you remember all these things because it took me seven years to reach this point and that's how I created my first viral video Video, what is like to be half Japanese half Turkish I saw two to three years ago a, a viral video from Asian boss where they were talking about what is like to be biracial in Japan and after seeing that video you know two years ago I took a screenshot and I told myself I'm gonna make this video and this video is probably gonna blow up and change this channel and I did it and it really did I remember how many times I was crying after getting only five views and being ultimately happy after getting 46 views or something. Those stages were basically the bottom of the iceberg that you never saw. You don't know those, but I remember and know all of these stages. Maybe in your current life, you're only seeing the tip of the iceberg and maybe you don't know the bottom of the iceberg that people struggled or maybe you didn't know anything about unfair advantages and maybe you didn't know how to use your unfair advantages and that's completely normal but I hope that you can change your mindset in this way and start to work on yourself because you can create unfair advantages you can use your unfair advantages and maximize your success in life the last thing that I would say is never give up on your dreams don't work only hard work hard and smart Thank you for 300k subscribers and happy new year. Bye.